Good morning, cute kitties. Good morning, Danny. Hey, good morning, Daisy. How's Daisy doing today? Doing great. Well, time to go get milk. Good afternoon everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Welcome back to my channel today. Today is Friday, October 2nd. And it is well, it's kind of a beautiful day out. And I hope you guys are doing great. I am doing pretty good. And uh, yeah, anyways, what am I up to right now? Well, last night... Um, I had a little issue with the power cord and that the scale mo or thing up there the scale monitor whatever you want to call it anyways I uh, the uh, thing pulled out up here so I gotta fix that and uh, I soldered it back together so yep and anyways um, as far as what else are we gonna be doing around here today well um, if you watched my last video, we were moving some calves. We didn't get them all moved, so I got to go and finish moving some calves around here today. Or get that done. And uh, I don't know. We're still going to try to... We got to get the chop ready for us. So we got to switch it over for fourth cut hay. So, yeah. So, we got a lot of different things um, probably going to be doing here if everything works out. But this thing was kind of an unpredicted thing. But... I gotta, I gotta make sure that scale works in the video wagon because we need it, and um, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do is uh, do this and get back to some others, get going with some other things, and uh, just kind of see what um, goes down for the day. If there's any, there's always some sort of a surprise. It seems like something that happens that's unexpected. Oh, and before I forget to, um, if you watched my last video too. Um, you know the TM125, the water pump um, started leaking on there. Yes, the water pump got a leak on there, and uh, they came and picked it up here this morning. Um, I did not get any footage of that, but yeah, they came and picked it up, and uh, hopefully next week, maybe Tuesday, they'll have her done. So, yeah, so I'm going to get busy with this. Pauline hello yeah okay I decided I'm gonna quick move these calves out of here this is the lot we call the hut lot because it's, that's like their little shelter back there my dad had the uh, I think many years ago he had the <clears throat> the FFA class from the high school come out and build that yes that was back in the day when they did that stuff many years ago so it's got to open up this gate here and every calf in here is going to go out to this lot in the north lot the one that we were doing in the last video so let's see how easy they come out they should come out pretty easy come on girl let's go move it up in the world Okay, next, next thing we got to do is move those calves out of here, but we're going to do that here later. We got to use the stock trailer for that. Whoops. Guess we got to fix this gate now. <laughs> oh. Dang, got it anyways. 
ran out of ground feed for the milk cows, so I guess I'm gonna have to go grind feed. I don't know, I should probably just climb up that thing every day. Maybe what a guy should do is put some sight windows in here. I wish it would have came with that so that way you could see as it gets down. <sighs> yep. Well, I guess. Wasn't planning on that today. Okay, <clears throat> while that thing sits there and warms up for a little bit, um, I wanted to show you guys another project that we have. Ah, I'm gonna take off these stupid headphones. But anyways, let me show you another project that we have um, that we have going on over here. Um, anyways, my brother he went to town earlier. Like I say, this is just kind of stuff that just kind of we weren't exactly planning on doing today, and it just kind of came about as the day progressed. But anyways, we got some of this tile pipe here, and you're gonna think, what are we using that tile pipe for? Well. Um, <clears throat> If anybody remembers when we were harvesting oats, we put the oats in this bin here. But what we need to do is take the beans or the oats that are in here and put them over in that bin because that bin over there is empty. And the reason why, obviously we're going to put the soybeans in here. We need to, we need to put them in here. And over here we have to redo this because this bin over here does not have an air floor in there. Hi stripes. <laughs> anyway so yeah we need to take this is an old pipe this is some old silo pipe that we put in there when we put these bins in here we used obviously used a crane to put them in here years ago and our neighbor guy had the idea that we should just pour concrete on the inside instead of pour a slab and set it on top and uh, yeah so so anyways what we need to do is take we got to take this out here and cut this pipe off and then we're going to take and slide that pipe onto what's left of this pipe in Because we have trouble with rats And that cat is obviously watching for rats or was watching for rats and uh, Yeah, so we need we could we have trouble with rats that so will get in in there But if we can Oh God, what's here? That auger? Uh, yeah, that's there. We gotta get that out of the way. But we gotta kind of cut. We gotta get all this cleared out of here and uh, redo it. So, yeah. So eventually, I can tell you that's one of the products that we gotta do here. Pretty soon here before we combine beans. We can't combine beans until we get the oats out of there. Get them over there. But first, we gotta get that pipe. So, anyways. Tractor should be about warmed up, and I guess in the meantime, we're taking oats out a little bit at a time through grinding feed. But obviously, too, we're gonna we're gonna cut that thing. <laughs> we're not gonna leave it that long. But. finished moving these calves out of that one calf barn that one building back there we back the trailer up there and the calves are in there so we're gonna drive it up here and back it in here and run them in so that way that job is done Whew, kill two birds with one stone or do two things at the same time, two jobs. Oh. Are you ready, calves? Oh, what's the matter with that thing? 
Ah, oh, the door is caught here. Stupid door. Ah, oh, the old trailer. There we go. All right, girls. Oh. there and change that yard light so if we don't have a, um, a one of those boom trucks that's your boom truck type thing okay I made it up here oh I gotta see which one this is oh that thing is a little a little warm. Oh boy. <laughs> Holy buckets. Okay, got the light in here, but now we're gonna replace the uh, the photoelectric uh, switch on there. I know they just recommended change, and I got another one right here. So change that quick. Now that looks close enough. Um, I was gonna take this uh, this uh, other light switch. This one was actually working. That one up there, that light sensor is not working, so the light stays on all the time. So I'm gonna at least try this one and see if it works. If it, if it works, we're not out much, but uh, if it doesn't, I guess we'll have to get a new uh, light sensor for that one. But uh, that way, then we could leave this one on and it will shut off automatically. Okay, oops, I'm blinding you guys. There you are. There, that job is is done. Oh. oh sorry it's so dark, but here we'll we'll get some light here pretty soon. Oh, I'm so glad the yard light over there, that light is replaced. No more flashing on and off anymore. <laughs> that's gonna be so nice and that photoelectric switch and that other light bulb by that calf barn that one worked perfectly so I guess it didn't hurt that I replaced took the one off that one to put on that other one so we just got to move some one last batch of calves around here quick and then we'll be done with that and then we can go and start milking Come on, sweetie. Let's go. This is the water hydrant. Oh, well, look at that, guys. You're in your new home. Plenty of room to grow in here. Yep, just the three of you.
Well, hey, good afternoon, everybody. Today is, uh, well, it's a beautiful day today, and it's Saturday, October 4th. Yeah, so anyway, whew, what do we have planned for today? Well, let me tell you, my brother and I were doing some talking last night and this morning. And uh, anyways, yesterday when my brother, when he went to town, I'm sorry, I apologize. It's going to be a long explanation of what we're going to be doing for today, but just bear with me. Um, but anyways, when my brother went to town to go get that tile pipe for that grain bin thing that we're doing, he he drove out because the, the um, business was, wasn't too far away from that field that we farm that's 12 miles from here. Anyway, so he drove out to the field, grabbed some ears of corn, brought them back. And anyway, so um, we checked the moisture on the corn and he got some moisture or he got some ears from different spots in the field. And anyway, there this year we broke up some more land on that field. The whole field, the whole field is like originally 130 acres. To start with, we broke up 50 acres, and we broke up, this year we broke up another 20 acres, and the whole thing was originally in the pasture. Anyways, part of the field that we seeded down, or that we planted into corn, was on that stuff that we broke up this year. It was plowed, so it was a little bit drier. Didn't have as much moisture in it, and so therefore, um, it came up two weeks later and all the other stuff. So what we're gonna do, is we're thinking about, um, com I actually combine corn before we do combine soybeans and we would like to do some high moisture corn and that stuff that came up later is about 30 31 30 percent moisture and anyway so we have to get this uh, roller miller machine and the guy is the same guy we rent your bagger from and anyways he um, he said we could probably have it in about a week so what we're we gonna do is we're going to get the combine ready, switched over to corn, and then we're going to start combining corn first. And the other corn that we checked that was planted two weeks sooner, um, that's about 20% moisture, so that's, that's not too bad. That's an 88 day maturity corn, so. Anyways, that's the plan for today, I think. Um, I gotta work a little bit at the feeding here, and then we're gonna try to get work at the combine, get that ready for corn. Okay, combine is up here, and uh, I guess we're gonna start working at converting it over to corn. So I hate converting it back. I mean, going from small grain to soybeans isn't so bad, but when you go to corn, from small grain to corn, a lot of stuff to do. It's not like the newer combines, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta go chase the cows out to the pasture and I think I'm gonna have to take the water tank out 
and then I'm gonna go get ready to go to church so how much I'm gonna get done on this thing today I don't know I might not get anything done but at least it's up here I just checked the forecast that it shows it's not supposed to rain for the next week so at least that's what it says whether it will come true or not I don't know but anyways I better get to the doing those other things come on Daisy let's head out to the pasture oh Daisy she's my favorite cow come on girls let's go out to the pasture Okay, everybody, I have some bad news. Yes, you've reached the end of the video. Yeah, I was thinking about running this video into a third day, but I decided I better not. So anyways, yes, this is the end of this video. Anyways, um, I didn't get any more done in the combine today. Um, but um, my brother Steve, um, he did get some work done on that uh, well, he didn't actually go to church tonight or this evening, so um, he uh, got some stuff done in that grain bin and then that I was showing in the, oh, was it the other day? So he got some work done that he didn't get it done, but yeah. Anyways, so uh, yeah, so we're going to keep getting the combine ready to go, and like I say, we got to wait for that roller mill. It's supposed to, there's another guy. Someone else is supposed to get it somewhere over by Watertown, South Dakota. There's another guy that's going to use it over there. And then we're going to either, I think, go to that guy's place and get it and then bring it here. But that will be next week. You know, whatever. But it's going to be in a week. So, anyways, that's how it's going to go. We're going to do the corn first. And we are going to, we plan on saving out some corn so we can pick because we still want to do that picking and shelling video yet so we'll figure out a way how to make it work and then we'll go to beans maybe we'll do fourth cut hay first and then do the beans that's probably how we're going to end up doing it i don't know exactly but we'll we'll figure something out but anyways that's what i gotta work on next is i got a whole week to get the combine ready so i should get it done in a week but uh, anyways guys i'm tired Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry, maybe there wasn't more. Maybe there should, I should have had more content in it, but uh, it is what it is. But anyways, have a good night. Please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. So, uh, or subscribe to my channel and do that so anyways guys i'll have a good night take care and uh, i'll see you in the next video